the backfield. Rude welcome to Winnipeg. This is picked off. Jackson Jeffcoat. Uh, I don't know how many times Father Jim Jeffcoat dropped into coverage like this in his day from his defensive end spot. But Jackson does it just right here. Five sacks on the night. Stancy drops the snap from center. He's in trouble and he's going to go back to midfield. Oh, and this time it's Jeff Goat who beat Oplugo to the quarterback. And now they're racing. oplugo has got him down the middle. Thinks he's got him. No, Jeff Coat beats him to it. 17-10. They trail here. Second and 10. Three-man rush. And they're going to get to the quarterback and bring him down. Behind the scenes and mic'd up. And James Franklin's going down. Fumble football and the Bombers have it. Sack, strip, fumble, recovery. Mention Stafford and Collins like week one. Busy receivers for the Eskimos. Pump fake Harris. Taken down now. Trevor Harris is sacked. One on one with Collin. He goes right across his face. Just so happens that's where Trevor is going. And gets into the backfield big time stop there forcing the longer field goal for Sean White was down there saying okay Dak keep your head down follow through Bethel Thompson knocked out of his hands he'll pick it up and get it back off one edge Jeff Coat coming and if you rotate in you're going with Craig Rowe and Craig Rowe led the team in sacks last year 12 yards to midfield now cracking oh, again nothing nice. doing this time oh. That, that is enough. I'm going to take away the run and just cuts underneath and says, that's it. I'm playing the play. Second and 10 from the 47 of Winnipeg. And Art tried to take off, but nothing doing. Dragged down by Steve Richardson Stove. Three-man pressure against five and three ends on the field. Jeff Coat, Rowe, and Jefferson. Rowe takes two. Willie bounces off his guy. Richardson, Drake Nevis, Fajardo steps back quickly. Down he goes again. Jackson Jeffcoat. Welcome back, Sack. But this defense is fired up. All star offensive line in this matchup, and you'll get a lot of different looks from Richie Hall's group. He's the defensive. Six force fumbles during the regular season. Two tonight. And Evans had a center knocked out of his hands by Jackson Jeffco. With three man pressure, all defensive ends, even combo in the middle, pushes upfield. That big reach to get the ball out of Dane Evans' hands. Play as all turnovers or potential turnovers are under review. Jim Jeffcoat's always told his son to be his own man. He has two Super Bowl rings, and Jackson's got his eye on a great cup ring here tonight. I talked to Jackson about his dad during the work week, and he told me, well, my mom, Tammy, is probably pushes me harder. This is a very, very good football team that's got a bright future. Down he goes. Evans dropped again. Jackson, Jeffcoat on back-to-back -back series. Jackson, Jeffcoat in at tackle. Working on Brandon Revenberg, the outstanding Canadian. Not running out. Touchdown, short kick, touchdown. That's all they need. The pressure on Arbuckle. And he loses the football. It's knocked away. I believe it was Jeffco. Jackson Jeffco with the pressure. And that's it. Tenacious hustle. From the Argos in front of this. Home crowd for the first time in a long time. Arbuckle pressure coming down. He's going to go to his right. He's hammered down. Ball pops loose and it's going to be scooped up and brought down the left side. This could go all the way back to the house. And it will touch down Argos. <laughs> Bombers, rather. As Briggs scoops it up and nobody was going to get to him. And Jesse Briggs untouched. 80 yards. Well, unblocked man coming off the... Ooh. The back side. Arbuckle feels it coming, but just can't accelerate away from it fast enough. Terrific strip there. Second and five for Arbuckle at the Winnipeg 51. Pressure coming. Strip to the ball. It's yes, loose. It Deja vu. Jeff Coat again. 
Presence of mind to reach a long arm out there. As Arbuckle cocks his arm back to throw the ball, perfectly timed to pop that free. Being four yards shy of a thousand yard season. Powell has nowhere to go. The Bombers were just waiting for him and once again stuffed the Riders running back. And now Fajardo will work from the four. Pressure coming and they got to him this time. Right up the middle. Oh, not blocked. Hey, good call. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, was that an assignment issue or? First and ten on the 48. Fajardo. And he had nowhere to go. Big Hill. Jeff Coach. Run pass option type of play where Fajardo looks at the and sees that Jeff Coat had not got up the field, so he keeps it. He didn't see an end, but then Jeff Coat hesitated and then said, now I'll take two steps. Down to the Winnipeg 32, three receivers to the right here. They'll give it to Powell. Powell trying to fight off one man. Second one will get him, it's Jeff Coat. It was a late decision, it was one, two, three, and then watch him follow Harker and he goes, ah, I had the edge. Three more to his left. And they'll get it to no, Edwards and no chance there. Jeff Coat saw that coming the whole way. No shot there. Imagine Not on my watch. Getting the ball if you're Edwards and you're like, uh oh, wow. Where am I supposed to go? BC Lions fans have said, knock on wood when you do that. Riley swinging it out of the backfield and right away for Lucky Whitehead. And on three flights, they finally got here when shopping for the Lions gear that they finally found. Got in place for kickoff. Up the path that Andrew Harris took. And play action. Look out, Mike Riley, you're going down. Oh, Jackson Jeffcoat with his sixth sack of the season. Jackson Jeffcoat off the edge. Okay, here you go. This is the first time the rookie has seen Jeffcoat or Willie Jefferson. Jeffco gets up field, swims around him. Michael Riley, no chance, turns his head, and there is number 94 right in his kitchen. For Trevor Harris not starting, or not dressing. And that one, they knew it was coming. Winnipeg was all over it. Jackson Jeffcoat. Top ranked defense, but, but we will see different play packages. Second and 15 for Riley. 80 seconds left in the first half. Riley, pressure again. He's in trouble, and they're going to get to him. Jeff Coat there. Stuck in the mud kind of feeling that Sarah mentioned earlier. I think it's a little bit like this. Got Jefferson coming from the top of your screen. Jeff Coat working from the other side. Wilson in on that one as well on the blitz. Jeff Coates on him. Work's going to try to push ahead. And actually get back to the line of scrimmage maybe a little bit further as Jeff Coat almost had another sack. Of the end zone against this Bombers defense. They'll try to keep it that way. Riley looking to change it. Wanted to go deep. Now he's bumped. Stays on his feet. Pushing ahead. And Riley, a guy that they didn't even want in the game here in the fourth quarter. Second and ten. Winnipeg 33. Pajardo. Under pressure. They know. Jackson Jeffco knocked it loose. Jake Thomas falls on it. And finally, a turnover goes the Bombers' way. On the Winnipeg 30 against the Bombers defense that's given up the most passing yards per game in the league. We're looking for more. It's going to be intercepted. Taken away just inside the 30. Jackson Jeffco in a football game. And it's Jeffco dropping back, stepping in and taking it away. 14 on that loss of four. Alouettes from their 21 now. Down seven. Harris faces the heat from Jackson Jeffco. And for one. one. <laughs> yeah. Forever. <laughs> They'll run the draw. Jeffco said going Jeff anywhere. Jeffco said, oh, no, not on my watch. Six yards per attempt again tonight. Now they tried to get it over to Logan, but it's batted down. First and 20 for Fajardo. Jefferson forcing him. He's taken down by Jeff Coates. He just kept with it. I mean, and Fajardo thought that he could bail out with a, with a blind turn like that, and Jeff Coates just took the shortcut 
underneath all his blocks and his pass rush lane. This is just crazy. Such an advantage for the Bombers when they stay disciplined. Now Fajardo dumps it off to Hickson. Jeffco coming over and gets enough of him to knock him down. On the Winnipeg 24. Three options to the right for Fajardo. Looks to the left. On the run. Look out. He's taken down. Jeff Cook was there waiting and he finishes him off. And not for Jackson Jeff Cook. He's going to stay and execute his assignment and stay on the upfield shoulder. So when Cody Fajardo tries the blind turn, he runs right into the arms of 94. Sets him up in a second. Because he had earned that respect. Fajardo under pressure. Jefferson gets their ball pops loose. And Jeff Coat is on it. And Jefferson and Jeff Coat strike again. And the celebration for Cody Fajardo. Willie Jefferson gets there yet again. Here's Pipton. In trouble trying to get away. Jeff Coat tracks him down. It's not really a full blitz. There's still only four goals but they loop and that catches the offensive line in Noah Zur off guard. In trouble, trying to get away, but he won't. Jeffco was there to hang on to him. Against it, I mean, even when you make a couple of big plays and the Lions just did, they just keep with it and they keep discipline. In the, so the Winnipeg 44, and here comes by three with the blitz coming. It goes Winnipeg's way. Heard from Matthew, he's just bought into that 100%. Get some help here, pressure coming on the blitz. Pajaro somehow spins away from the first rush. But the second wave is right there. Yes. Yes, you're looking blind. Mills now at 85 in the first half. Mayer looks to his left. Jeff Coat gets his mitts up. He's on the inside, lining up in the three technique, playing the left guard. Just bull rushes him. Stevens in his second year out of Penn State. And just one pass before tonight. This is batted down by Jeff Coat. He's going to go get his hands up in the air. You know, it's six foot four, you can do that. And then knock down to 260. The heat was coming on the outside in the form of Jackson Jeffco. Coming into this game with one sack, but it's going to double his total here. Good speed here to outrun the tackle off the mark. A couple of receivers from Utah State, him and Savon Scarver, teammates again here in Ottawa. That's handed off and trying to break it outside is Williams. He does. Second and ten. Cornelius with enough time gets it away. Take a look at the pass rush that again is rushing Cornelius in the accuracy and that one just hit and I'm going you're not allowed to panic when you're back to back taking a couple in a row and close last year here's Cornelius running for his life and he's going to be taken down yeah. by Jeff Coates. <laughs> yeah. Well it was so kind of matter of fact I mean I, I've asked before Coach O'Shea I have asked him you know like your usual number one, very different than most teams. Davis in trouble and he's taken down at the 40. Can't escape this Winnipeg defense. Good get off there by Jackson Jeffco. Exploding upfield. Now the ball pops out and Winnipeg takes over. A fumble by Edmonton and the Bombers defense is there to scoop it up. Some wild moments here at Commonwealth. That mark Ben Cahoon's characteristics, guys. That's a flattering comparison, too, as Jackson Jeffco comes in and Walter Fletcher on his first touch. The defense is accounted for two. Oh, the ball gets away in the snap to Fajardo, and the Bombers have it. Jackson Jeffco alertly comes in and on the hop picks it up. 
I mean, he is off the edge and he is gone. He sees the ball loose and he goes and runs it down and beats the quarterback to it. Remember, Fajardo in the shotgun has a four or five yard lead on number 94. <laughs> Look at Jackson Jeff go, go get it. Riders have lost six in a row to Winnipeg. They'll start on the ground, and it gets finished on the ground immediately. Jeff Coat all over Jamal Morrow. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go right to the run play. Now, he had Cramdy on the outside, so he didn't have contained response. Near the top of your screen, Morrow will pop over to the right of Dolagala here. Bombers bring some pressure. Dolagala trying to escape, staying on his feet, and eventually tracked down from behind. Second and 15. him down and now in fairness to council he's played left tackle this season different footwork and that time Jeff Jackson Jeff coat moved it up a little bit further for the BC line to start the second drive yeah face mask gives BC a bit of a break there and that is smoke by Zell with his first carry of the game first and ten a quick fake to Mizell. Adam steps up with pressure. Manages to get away. Gets back near the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Katori releases. That frees up Holmes. And Holmes gets there. Makes flushes him. And then Jeff Coke gets in there along with Cramdy. And that's the way, it's, that's the way it happens. When first and 10, you don't get a chance to communicate. First and 10 at the 20. This time the fake to Mizell. Adams gets brought down. That is Jackson Jeff Coke with the sack. Big loss on the play. Watch him here. Pretty much you gotta pull him pulling guard right in his face. Pushes him back with his long arms and that went into that, but they found him and he'll be here a while, I believe. They're gonna move him to the right. Now he has the taste in trouble. Ball pops up, Big Hill's got it! Oh, no. Big Hill down to the 10 five. Touchdown, Biggie! As he takes it home for the bombers. Whee. Here's another look at it. Just bounces up into Big Hill's hands. Jefferson provides a little bit of cover and he's gone. It's a walk in touchdown for Biggie. That is just a lot of fun to watch. Jeff Coat. Jeff knocks Jackson, it out. Jeff Coat. Six year player from the University of Texas getting it done. Those are three big names there. Hatcher and TJ Lee both out for the rest of the game for the Lions. Pressure coming. Adams trying to spin away. No luck. Jeff Coat. He gets a different type of matchup that he might see on the edge going against a tackle, and it's just a straight bull rush on Suk Chung, the former bomber. Adams has time here. Now he's going to be in trouble trying to escape. Will not. Jeff Coat is there again. You can't be too long with these bookends. Mention it off the top that the tackles for the Lions really got their work cut out for him now. It was a pretty good job initially by Kent Perkins on Jeff Cope, but he keeps working. 